Hey everybody, welcome back to Banished. In the last episode, we went ahead and started our own little town on hard mode, and we're struggling for food right now. Our final building has been built, and they are hungry, hungry people. We had this lady here carrying some fish, but she's one of the people starving, which is kind of funny. She should be taking the food and putting it in her home, but sadly, these people are taking the food instead. Look at that. Just watch them. Their friends are starving. They have no food at all, and you guys are taking it. Ooh. That's a feels bad man right there. A laborer has died from starvation. That is not good at all. That's pretty bad. I really don't like that. So let's go ahead and push this down. We can give ourselves... Oh, our people are dying of starvation because we are out of food and these homes are stealing it. So this household here is probably going to die off. That sucks, but... You know, that's life. Shit happens. So every now and again, that's going to happen. So... What we should do, because people have passed, is we should go ahead and try to build up a cemetery. But guys, if you do enjoy the series, don't forget to leave a like down below. Don't forget to comment. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed. It truly, truly, truly helps out. Uh, Labor is no longer available to replace it. Of course not. Our people are dying of starvation because no one's giving them food, which really sucks. I'm going to go ahead and put in a cemetery here. It's going to cost a little bit, but that's fine. I'm going to have the... I'm gonna have the gate be. We'll have it on the that side there. We can't. We don't have any builders. We could move that down and put the builder here. Cause when people die, if you get this this up here, it's gonna increase your heart. I mean, it's gonna increase not your heart, your happiness of your citizens. Our people are gonna stay warm because we have the logger, which is nice. I really need Arth, the lonely fisherman here, to accept some food. He's the only person that is starving. There we go. He took some food. How much did he take? Ten fish? Dude, you deserve it. You're the fisherman. Like, I cannot believe what happened to you, you poor soul. You just lost oof, quite a few people, which sucks. Uh, everybody that literally died of starvation was because they needed to be inside here. We are running out of stone, I think it said. Yes, we are. That's because we're building up this little grave site here. But guys, if you do enjoy this, again, like I said, don't forget to subscribe if you're not. Leave me a like down below and leave me some comments and let me know what you like about the series. If you want to see this as a series, let me know that down below. But guys, we fixed our starvation issue. Um, we did just get somebody of age to become a laborer, which is sweet. Uh, maybe we go ahead and... No, there's no reason for them to really focus on this. I guess, I guess like, why not for now? And then what we'll do is we'll go back and put in... Uh, We'll put both our builders into becoming a gatherer and a hunter and max both of those out once the building is completed. Which it shouldn't take any. It shouldn't take too long at all. Honestly, we have two builders coming in here. Our person here... Oh, nice! They actually... Oh my god, he's dating a 10-year-old. Oh god, they have kids too, which is kind of messed up. But they got some food now, which is pretty sweet. Uh, our food supply is definitely lower than I like it. But it should go up once we max it out. This will be built very soon. She's coming over to help. I think she's our other builder. Yep. So that's good. I don't know how many. We got 15 graves in there, which isn't a lot, but it's actually the exact amount that we'll only really need. So let's go ahead and do that. And guys, everything should hopefully go a little bit smoother from here on. Now we just need our population to grow and our kids to become adults. That way we can have laborers that can go around and chop down some stuff. That was a very, very close call. We're going to go ahead and build a road here. So whenever we get a labor, we're going to make them a builder. So what we'll do is we'll go like this. Yeah, that's actually completely fine with me. And then we'll go like that and like that. Because what we're going to do there is this is the cemetery. So we're going to have a nice little path around it. And we're going to have the home kind of build around this area with, this, with the town. And then once we get everything else, this is how it's going to look. Oof. That was a rough start to the game. We already had, I think it was, well, how many people? Four people, I think, died. I think four people died of that. Toggle pop-up. Notifications of death by old age. Yeah, we want everybody to pop up. Everybody's an important citizen in here. Let's kind of look for who's the oldest in our town. So 29-year-old. Uh, I think our 29-year-olds are our oldest. Yep. So we have here a 29-year-old Lindani. Ladona, Ladon, Ladoni, Lad yeah, I think Ladoni, and then we have, wow, these names are special, Ismantha, so, you know, it's not too bad, we are running out of tools, I just realized, 
that kind of sucks but what can we do can't really do much with that right now our people are starving again that's not good we do have we will have a lot more food come in because we have now that maxed out and this maxed out and we only have two fishermen but i feel like if they die out it's gonna suck but i don't feel like they will because when we bring in the food we should be okay as long as the people aren't greedy which most of the people are because they're running out of food they're running out of food they're eating roots these poor souls <laughs> But what can I do, you know? Like, you can't do much. Like, you gotta do what you gotta do. They're, ex they're exploring the grave where the people that died aren't even in here. It sucks. Uh, but, oh well. You gotta do what you gotta do, guys. I really want these people not to die. I think that'd be really good if they didn't. Uh, we got two laborers, which is sweet. Let's just make them fishermen right away. Let's maybe make one not a fisherman and one a builder. The builder's not really going to do much, but he should build this path. Yeah, there we go. Are you our builder? I don't know if that's you. Yeah, it is you. Okay, she's Nora, our 11-year-old who lives in this house with the fisherman who is 27. 16 years older. That sucks. A kid was just born. Melindy, where is she at? Is it this family here? It is this family here. They have a lot. They have a big family, which is quite nice. If we build more homes, the adults in these can move out. Uh, they just ran out of food again, which sucks. Our firewood's at 300. So I think I'm going to stop it there. Because we won't really need that guy to be doing that. Especially because 300 firewood should probably be enough for now. Let's go ahead and make him become a fisherman. This here, that's completely fine that it's waiting. We have hit 300 firewood. All of our people have firewood. Once it goes down to about 100, I'm going to go ahead and, uh, you know, pump it back up. But all of our people should be fine on firewood. The only person that's not really looking too good is the person dying of starvation, which sucks. So let's go ahead and do that like that. Actually, you know what? Can I delete that? Remove road. Remove that. What I'm going to want to do is I want to kind of make it the exact same as over here. So we're going to go there, there, and there. It doesn't look proper. It's not. That's why. I'm just going to fix this again. Remove that. What? Remove road. Okay. Go here. Click road. That there. That there. There we go. Looks a little better. They have a little bit of food. How much food? Six fish instantly gone. Guys, you, you can't you can't just eat the fish instantly. Northern fisherman died during childbirth. An 11 year old died during childbirth. Oh, no way. We literally just got that person of age. Oh man, if she dies childbirth and we even lost a kid. Oh, you are now married to an 11 year old female. Guy, this, this, Arf, dude, you're a savage. You are a savage. We have one grave in here. That's where, I think her name was Nora. That's where Nora's living. Hopefully, these people don't steal. As I say that, she takes the venison. 100 venison you just took! Ooh, my god. This person has no food at all. And look at these people. You're suffering. You, you're, you're pretty decent, but this, this one family, look at this. Look at all that food. I lied. Not that family. This family. What is this? Why? 200 venison. Guys, are you fucking, are you serious? Are you actually dead serious? Like, you are a disrespectful human being. Your family's starving next door. You're doing nothing about it. I can't believe that. That's ridiculous. Oh my gosh. Okay, what we want to do now is we want to get this trader built up. So what we're going to do is we're going to put it right beside here. We have no builders available. That's okay. We'll wait till somebody ages and they'll try to build that up by themselves. We need 80 stone, which we're out of. We don't have enough of that. We have... Oh, wait. <coughs> Bless me. We actually have enough. I thought this was stone, but that's iron. Which we need. We have 40, we have enough. Logs, we have enough. Perfect. Only thing we don't have is tools, but again, we can get that pretty easily. A child name, is a little whatever is born. Let's try to find out where you're at. Let's see. 
them here. They just had a female, which is quite nice. How many men and females do we have? We have man there, two female kids, another female. All of them are having females. If we have boys, that's going to be nice because then we can have more families be built up. But we're on the struggle of food right now. Oh, no, we're not. We're pretty good. That person has a decent amount of food now, so hopefully they don't really go down. All we're waiting for right now is our families to age and grow up. We're still playing on the fastest speed, I hope so. Is that the fastest speed? No, it's not. It's a 10 times speed. Holy Lanta! We don't want to keep it on 10 times, but for now, while nothing's happening, we're waiting for people to age. We're definitely going to have to speed the game up, guys. This is Foundations. Not found. Is it foundation? What the heck? Banished. This is bandy. Banished. My bad, guys. I didn't mean to say it. I almost said this is bandage. What the heck? This is banished. A child named Elisa is born. These names are hard. Oh, God. The 29-year-old and the 12-year-old just had a child. It's a boy, at least. At least we have a boy. That's okay. Lizetra. That was you, right? Yeah. That's what I thought. We're out of tools, which sucks, but if we get... If we get a laborer and they build this up, and we put a trader in there, what we I don't know what we're gonna get rid of to trade. Uh, I have no idea. I accidentally got rid of which one was it? I just got rid of it from the top. That ah, I didn't mean to get rid of that. I guess what we'll trade is I don't even know where did our stone go. Wait, how are they building that? I'm confused. They're not the builder. Maybe the builder doesn't need. I think the. Okay, I think they can load it up, but I think the builder has to build it. Like with this here. I think they can load it up with everything. It's just the builder has to do the building. We're at 312 firewood. That's something we could sell as well as firewood. We should be okay on food. It doesn't look like we are, but trust me, we should be okay. We're actually getting to 85 spare food and no one's taking it oh i lied let's see it's this is the greedy family yep 99 venison that's the greedy family right there 100 food just got stored and then these people have just taken it 107 venison the venison is coming in really nicely so the meat is coming along quite nice uh yeah like i said no one can really build it so once we get one person of age who's our closest kid we have a six-year-old there we have a six-year-old there we have an eight-year-old that's probably your closest child right there um, you're a gatherer. Yep. So our closest is now a nine-year-old. Okay. So our closest kid, I think they can be 10 and that's when we can get them next. They're just hanging out in the grave, which is kind of creepy, but you know what? If you guys want to chill in the grave, just chill in the grave. Have a good time. I'm not going to judge you. Our people's happiness is a little bit low. I don't really know what we could do to increase that. We could put up a market as a local area for assistance to collect food and all that instead of them using this. What you do is you make a market, and that's where they store everything. The market is big. Like, look how big that is. That's quite big. Uh, storage barn used to store f food, clothing, and all that fun jazz. Basically, if I want to remove this this little... Luckily, we have this here, because this is what is where we're storing all of our food and stuff for free without having to have built this little item here, which is nice. But say I had homes over here and I want to put the barn down for them to store the food, this is where I would put it. But since our town is built around here, having this little tiny thing is actually really nice. Uh, it has firewood in it, which is weird. Oh, we're actually running out of firewood, I just realized. So, oh, someone just became a laborer, which is nice. So what we're gonna do is, since we're running out of firewood, we're gonna go ahead and make them our woodcutter. So, kind of sucks, but we're gonna, turn all of our wood into that and then hopefully things go according to plan she's our little 10 year old girl right there she's chopping it up getting her family the firewood that we need especially because winter was kind of what makes them use all the firewood really a child is born again let's kind of look for the kid right there another female we're having a lot of females we're not really having many boys at all uh, what we can do is we could build up another house don't know how much a house is though because we're out of stone we're having technical difficulties because we need a builder so they can build this and we can do trade but in order to do that we're gonna have to remove somebody from food if we remove people from food our people are gonna die so what we can do is once we get to 100 which we just did 
We can make her a builder. She's right here. Now she's going to go over here and build this market up. And we can sell these leathers here. Is she building it? She hit it once. Okay, good, good job. Maybe because she doesn't have a tool. But what we can do is we can try to sell the leathers and the hides here to really help our city out. So we have 20 people now. Quite a lot. They're actually running out of food. Oh gosh. Oh god, the hard one's hitting me, but we really need this built up. I need that girl to build it as fast as humanly possible. But she's doing the best job that she can, so I can't really judge her. She is a solo. She's a solo person building it, so I can't really judge her there. I can put a path going from here to here if I want. I'll make the game a little bit faster. It does look like they run through the backside of that, which is kind of weird, but Let's go ahead and just have her focus on building this. Once that's built, we'll build a well just in case a fire or something happens, which would, which really wouldn't be good. Someone chopped down a tree, I think. Or did a tree just fall over? A child was born. This guy is building. I thought our builder was a girl, so I'm a little bit confused. I think they had a sex change on me. Um, okay. Tavo, where are you at? Tavo the boy right there we have we're gonna have we're gonna have at least four more laborers come in in about like a year or two in the game so that's pretty good not really a year in game because they actually age really fast so one nine-year-old two nine-year-olds and two eight and seven-year-olds and then this ch this child's not gonna be for a really long time but that's okay this person's working pretty hard over here, which is nice. I need them to focus on that. Once this person grows up as a laborer, which they just did, which is fantastic, we're gonna make them into a builder. They're gonna help this person build. Is that you there? You're, you're a kid, aren't you? Yeah, you're just kids. But we're gonna have this be built up. We're lucky because we're gonna get two more. If our hunter was over here, that would be a lot of food for us. Nice, they're building that, which is sweet. We're gonna build a road here. And the road's just gonna go like that. And I wanna say we can just keep the road there, but let's kinda, let's just have it go out kinda like this. It's gonna look like a weird little road, but that's fine. I want it to be like, this is the way they're gonna really go. Instead of them cutting through here, hopefully they take that path. Once this is built, once this gets built up, it's gonna be good. And then we're gonna have a line of trade going through. We are starving again. Oh man, we got a laborer now, which is nice. Could make them a fisherman, but I think we're gonna hold off on that because that laborer can become the trader. Once we get the trader too, it's gonna be quite nice. Let's make him a builder until this is done, and then we can make one of the builders become a trader, and we can kind of not die of starvation. Our child has just died of starvation. Oof. I think that was one of the kids that was about to grow up to. Ah! <laughs> no! Oh my god. They're dropping like flies. Oh, oh no, no, no. No, no, no. Art, dude, what the heck are you doing? Your, your wife constantly keeps dying. Oh my gosh. Oh. <laughs> Oh, this hurts. One of our builders died. Damn. One of our builders and like all of our fishermen have just hit the hay. Holy Lanta. Oof. Hard mode is quite difficult, guys. It's quite difficult. Sheet. But guys, this is Foundations. If you're enjoying it, not Foundations. Why do you keep calling it Foundations? What's wrong with me? Look at We just got a huge pile of food going in. This is Banished, guys. If you enjoy this. Please don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, all of us are down below. My name is Daniel. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.